I'm here today to talk about the new report that we're issuing, Economic Justice, the Untapped Power of the Public Sector Workers. Public sector workers, what does that mean? That means all of the employees of the government and therefore of the people who serve us in many different ways from, being, from teaching our children to caring for our elders in senior, in senior citizen facilities, um, health facilities, keeping our roads, making our justice system function properly. What we find in our report is that since the Great Recession of 2008, uh, since prior to that time, the public sector workforce has been in steady decline and it has not been able to rejuvenate after the COVID crisis. To some extent, we're all seeing a, a recovery after COVID, but this recovery doesn't extend to women workers and black workers in particular. We entitled our report, The Untapped Power of the Public Sector Worker, because what we find is that public sector workers do not have the protection in order to organize in the way that would allow them to make sure that, they, that their work is properly funded and that their numbers are adequate to the task. Today we're facing a number of crises in being able to balance economic justice, both in our state of Georgia and throughout the United States and even globally. We find that when workers are collectively organized, when they have the opportunity to speak with one voice and, when, and look at their conditions, that they're able to articulate that better than any outside force can. And in a situation where our many sectors of our workforce, their benefits, their wages lag behind that of other, other uh, states and other cities. It's very important that our workforce come together and be able to represent themselves. We're looking, we're directing our attention to the workers of Georgia, and that's all workers, black or white or Latino, women or men. The public sector is one of the main arenas in which all people of Georgia have found employment, and all people of Georgia have served us, each of us individually. So we believe that unions allow a workforce to look at their condition collectively. Sometimes that means that they're concerned about their pay levels, but sometimes that means that they, need, they would like to have more training. Sometimes that means they know that they do not have enough workers on the job. For instance, sometimes schools have too few, uh, too few assistant teachers, too few teachers in general. Or other times you find that women have found that when they're, when they're in the midst of needing prenatal care, they have to drive miles to receive this care because there are no health centers nearby. So no matter what it is that we're doing, the workforces of those occupations need to be able to collectively enforce responsibility and skill. So what we have seen is that public sector workers in Georgia earn less than the private sector worker counterparts. So when you decide that your mission is to serve the public and to uh, take care of our communities, what you end up having to do is to make a sacrifice. And you don't receive a fair wage here in Georgia. And the other find and findings have shown that across the United States, where public sector's right to collectively bargain is not protected legislatively, it means those states tend to not have uh, public sector unions and collective bargaining. Those states are the states where the, where the uh, salaries of public workers are significantly lower than those of private workers. Unions have been found to, to enforce and to um, promote equity in the workplace. 
And this includes no matter what age group the workers are, no matter what their sexual orientation is, no matter whether they're of one race or immigrant status or not. So we need this kind of inclusiveness because the public sector workforce represents all of Georgia. And this is what we are working to educate our students and all youth about, that we have to be concerned about all workers and that all work has dignity, and that that dignity can prevail when those workers can come together and express themselves and make sure that they have their needs met, because the well-being of our community is ultimately dependent on the well-being of our workers, and that's all of us.